Good day. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Today's broadcast. La Dauphin Libre Daily newspaper reference to the four MPs of Western Armenia. The explosion in the gasoline warehouse of Stepanakert was not accidental. My uncle Hakop is nailed. Human Rights Watch referred to the condition of human rights in Armenia. Eastern Armenia will present arguments at the Hague Court on the baseless of Azerbaijan's legal claims. Armenian culture was included in the Louvre Department of Art. Andanik Abrahamian won in the stage snatch exercise. Support Western Armenia team. The daily newspaper Le Dauphin Libre, which is published in Valencia, wrote an article on Saturday, January 14, which represents the four deputies of the Parliament of Western Armenia, Simon Melkonyan, Grikur Amirzayan, Khosra Vilozor, and Hovanes Manukyan, who have just been elected deputies of the Parliament of Western Armenia. The newspaper writes as, as follows. Last May, the Electoral Commission of Parliament of Western Armenia presented the list of 114 candidates for the 2023 legislative body elections of the Parliament of Western Armenia. Four candidates from Valencia, Simon Melkonyan, Grikur Amirzayan, Khosrov Ilozer, and Hovanes Melnikan were in this list of legislative elections to, the, to present their interest of Western Armenia. Their election campaign included meetings and debates on the Zoom apps, which formed groups formed to represent the interest of Western Armenia, which aims to claim the indigenous people of the Armenian territory. 10,000 citizens of Western Armenia, recognized by the United Nations as an indigenous nation, were invited to vote for their pr preferred candidate out of the 114 listed candidates. No less than 62 candidates received the necessary votes to be elected for the one-year mandate. Vazgen Grigorian, a 41-year-old resident of Artsakh, remembers the moments before the tragic explosion of the gasoline warehouse in Stepanagar that killed 218 people, informed that it was not accidental. He was an eyewitness of the one of the injured from the accident and uh, fortunately could survive and save his life. He told the details about the accident. Journalist Arslan Ozdemir published an article entitled My Uncle Hakop Ismail on the website Planet.org. In the article, Ozdemir referred to the stories of Islamized Armenian children. The um, genocide committed against the Armenians is one of the darkest pages in the history. We must never forget the victims of this tragedy and their sufferings. During the genocide against the Armenians, the Ottoman government and its supporters carried out a systematic campaign to exterminate Armenians. Within the framework of this campaign, thousands of Armenian children were adopted by Muslim families and became Islamists. Many of these children were the only survivors of the plog. Their family has been killed or disappeared, and they needed a new family to survive. Muslim Kurdish families often adopted these children as their own and taught them their culture and religion. Armenian children who accepted Islam had to lose their identity in past history. They forgot Armenian and abandoned Armenian customs. Some of them did not even know that they were Armenians. The stories of Islamized Armenian children are part of the tra tragedy of the Armenian po pogroms. These children are a reminder of the Armenian people who disappeared during the massacre. The protests of assimi assimilation of Islamist Armenian children was generally as follows. The children were adopted by Muslim families, adopted a Muslim name, surname, received a Muslim religious education, the rest in Islamic custom, and integrated into Muslim society. You can read an article of journalist Arslam Ozdemir on the website of Western Armenian TV. The new report of Human Rights Watch yesterday criticized the selective response and the transactional diplomacy prevalent in the world of human rights problems. Their report was also referred to Armenian rights, the voice of America. According to a reputable international human rights organization, during the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, more than 100,000 Armenians were deported to Armenia in 2023. The report emphasized that the Baku initiated military operation was presided by a month's long acu acute shortage of food, medicine, uh, hygienic supplies, and other essential goods in Nagorno Karabakh due to the Azerbaijan suspension of transportation between Armenia and Nagorno Karabakh from December 2022. It is also noted that after the military operations in September 2023, Baku arrested several leaders of the facto authorities, accusing them in financing terrorism, including uh, illegal armed groups, and in crossing the 
border illegally. The report, however, calls the December 2023 joint statement of the Armenian and Azerbaijan leaders historical on the steps to normalize relations and the exchange of servicemen. In Armenia, the lack of effective accountability for the abuses of law enforcement agencies is an ongoing problem, writes the Human Rights Organization, adding that the authorities often investigate such cases in the context of abuse of official position, which provides for a lighter sentence. The delegation led by the representative of Eastern Armenia and International Legal Affairs participated in the meeting on procedural issues held at the Permanent Court of Arbitration in The Hague on February 27, 2023, within the framework of the court initiated by Baku under the Energy Charter Treaty. Representation of Eastern Armenia on International Legal Affairs spread a message about this on the Facebook page. Eastern Armenia prepares to present its arguments and evidence at the appropriate stage of the arbitration proceedings on the ground list of Baku's legal claims. Armenia will be included in the establishment of department dedicated to Byzantine art and Eastern Christianity in the Louvre, French. French Ambassador Eastern Armenia Oliver de Kolgikny wrote about this in his Xmix Roblox. The Louvre is the first in the world with its nine and more million visitors per year. The Louvre is preparing to establish a department dedicated to Byzantine art and Eastern Christianity, which will also include Armenia. And the Louvre supports the resigning the Erebuni Museum in Armenia, wrote the French ambassador. Andani Gabrahamian took part in the weightlifting championship held in Wolfson, Velen, France, and won the first place prize and became champion of France. Andani Gabrahamian presents High Champ Passport School, and in his speeches, Andani Gabrahamian represents under the flag of Western Armenia. Western Armenia TV congratulates the young athlete and wishes him new victories. The athlete's speech is available on the YouTube page of Western Armenia TV. Western Armenian television, being loyal to its uh, principles and viewers, continues its in uninterrupted work with the new approaches. As you already know, our television does not engage in self-promotion. It broadcasts mainly political subjects and context related to the history, present and future of Western Armenia, as well as news on various issues. We also present the political transition of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia, the government, the National Assembly, and other structures in a transparent and accessible manner. Dear compatriots, with your support, the possibilities of our television will be further expanded and strengthened. We are strong together. This was all for today. Goodbye. Yes, he should maintain special hiders, hide any curse, wash panum, tain special rigonats, your biters. Yes, for good say, has canum, for in tonesim and on the sura volinary pideni. O cani is canchimo than I'll tishnamin, cosa anino.